All right, really, Maroon 5, I just ranked all of your albums, and now you're going to put out another single from another album? Great. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Beyond ARTV. My name is John and I have the worst timing in the world. Apparently Maroon 5 have a brand new single out less than a month since I ranked all of their albums. If you want to go check that out, card on screen or else a link at the end of the video. Today I'm going to be doing a track review of their new single, Memories, which I'm assuming is from their upcoming seventh studio album, but I suppose time will tell. This track actually had a few co-writers, one of the standouts being John Bellion and I can feel that influence trickling in for better or for worse. Memories is a very low-key track that does work in some acoustic guitars. It doesn't sound awful in that regard, and not that it sounds awful overall. I think it's one of their better singles that they've released in the, at least the past five years, perhaps this side of 2011. But again, how much is that really saying? My biggest problem with Memories is the fact that it doesn't seem like it knows what it wants to be. Is it trying to be a John Bellion B-side because the influence is incredibly apparent there? Or is it trying to harken back to their early days? This track instantly made me think of a song from their debut album, Songs About Jane, Not Coming Home. It's the next to last track, and it has like the live crowd in the background just like cheering and applauding, but it also kind of makes sense because it's a big funk rocker. It has a lot of energy packed in. And on this song, Memories, we have the crowd starting off during the first chorus that opens the track, the first verse, and then it just abruptly shuts off. The crowd goes silent during the rest of the song until the very last particles of what remains of the song. It makes no sense to me. Why is there a live crowd cheering in the background? And if you're gonna do it for part of it, why not do it for all of it? It just, it doesn't add up. It is nice to see Maroon 5 deviate from the whole pop, trap, whatever else they were chasing type sound. Although it does feel a bit influenced by Girls Like You, their huge mega hit single, How Could It Not Be, right? Because Maroon 5 have to cash in on a little bit of that trend. I think the acoustic guitar here is much more based in reality and what makes sense for Maroon 5. I feel like they could push forward with a little bit of a different sound on the seventh studio album, assuming that that is coming. But I feel that this song, again, feels a bit like a letdown. Not in the sense that, okay, this is one of the worst songs that they put out in recent times. More so in the sense that, wow, this could have been a lot better if only the execution was done correctly. And there wasn't so much do-do-do singing on the post-chorus of the track. I feel that there's a lot of lazy songwriting tropes that just get tapped into. They continue to kind of perpetuate this stereotype of Maroon 5 just not really caring that much about the way that their songs are written, the way that they come across. There's a lot of lazy production too, I feel like. Again, it's not necessarily a killer because the track is bearable, and that's something that I haven't been able to say for quite some time, I feel like but it's also not one of their better tunes. As much as this might not have sounded like a positive review, I do feel that it's a step in a better direction after the disaster that was Red Pill Blues. I feel that that album is only servicing those who are okay with anything top 40 pop, rap, garbage, whatever is thrown at their face. If it's got Maroon 5's name attached to it, those are the people that are just going to continue to eat that up. But for any fans that were wanting a little bit more, I feel that maybe this track could satisfy that for you. It does evoke feelings of nostalgia, and obviously the memories bring back memories line is going to resonate with some people. It feels more like it was done for Instagram captions, though, rather than actual effect or emotion, and that's unfortunate. I would really love to see Maroon 5 continue in a better direction because, believe it or not, as I noted in my ranked video, I do love their first two records a whole lot, actually, and I would love to see them maybe put out something even up to the quality of some of the stuff like the singles from Overexposed or a couple of the ones from Five or V or whatever you want to call it. Here's to hoping a cheers to Maroon 5. Hopefully you can 
rein it in just a bit for this upcoming release. As far as my rating goes for this, whether this is a one-off single or maybe the lead single from the upcoming album, I'm going to give this a strong 2.5 out of 5, possibly even a light 3, but I'm going to stick with the 2.5 for now. I would love to know what you guys are thinking of the new Maroon 5 single. Sound off in the comment section down below and drop a like on the track review while you're here. Don't forget to check out that Maroon 5 ranked episode I did. You can tap this card here to go see that, or you can catch my review of Red Pill Blues right over here. All of my social media accounts, including my Instagram, can be found in the description down below. And other than that, I'll see you soon for more right here on Beyond ARTV.